Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on April 20th, 2022 at approximately 5.18 a.m. PST. Well, time to get back to work on the brain. And I do, I, you know, I do mean the brain of your house, which, by the way, is also the brain of your home. Okay, where that starts. Now, I returned to this world for one reason and one primary reason only, and that is to pass on a simple message to people that working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. Okay, now the thing is, Society is going down a very dark path right now, and it's done this before, multiple times. The most obvious of which would be the fall of the Roman Empire. Okay, we've had a lot of, of collapses, and I don't mean global extinctions. I'm not looking at global extinction right now. Technically, that's a possibility, but it's not the one I'm working on. Because let's face it, if we go with global extinction, we're, we're all hooked. So... With that in mind, okay, I'm I'm referring to how to shift society given it does not collapse. And I like the way it was put in one movie. You know, that boils down to the world we're still breathing, therefore, continue working as though, as though the world intends to continue breathing. Well, the world does, okay, even if society collapses. The world is going to be here for a while. A friend of mine estimated, based on, on his studies, that this planet will likely survive for the next, you know, five billion years or so. Well, if that's the case, we really, as individuals, don't have a lot to worry about. However, I just assume not be in, and be one of the people involved in destroying the planet. Okay, in destroying civilization itself. So here's what we do. If you've watched the last the last number of videos, speaking of which, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Okay, that would be really appreciated. But also, do subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of information. We've got a lot of work to do, and I cannot do it on my own. Okay, this is gonna, going to involve each and every one of you. But the way to do it is to start essentially as you would with human body. You start with the cerebral cortex. That's you. Now, with that in mind, with that particular thought in mind, correcting the way your world is working, correcting the, the energy in your world, is done by simply sorting out the way your brain is working. Now, I left my, my office a shambles last night. Okay. And I've got, because I was working on figures, these are the guys that I paint. Okay, I just paint these guys for a hobby. So I ended up emptying them up. I was look, emptying them out. I was looking for one, either for a specific one, or more to the point, one that met my that matched my my desires, that matched my purposes. So what I'm doing right now is just sorting these out to get them put away. I'm sorting them out into whether they're male or female. All these figures will eventually get painted. Okay, but before I can do that, I've got to get the office back in order. Now, the the reality is when you're looking at changing when you're looking at changing the direction your life is going in, understand the path it takes. The 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 starting point is way up here in what most people call the soul. But if you would prefer, we can refrain, we can take it down a notch and start it here in the brain. Now, the, the actual path is it starts way up here in the, in the soul, in the etheric plane, outside the human body. But one of the first places people recognize the thought showing up is right here in the brain. So we can start there for, for, the, for the sake of argument. Okay. Now, from there... It goes from here to the heart. Now, you can you can look at it from the brain standpoint and go, well, that's what I, what I am I'm choosing to go after, and it's a great place to start. The only glitch is that you can use all the logic in the world, and it's proven time and again. 
even when people turn around and tell you, you know, even when people that you consider professionals turn around and tell you, you've got to change your, your behavior. Take a look at smoking and drinking. A doctor who is theoretically a licensed professional that has an idea of what they're doing. Okay, even they can tell you the, this is, is unhealthy behavior for your body. The, a psychiatrist or psychologist can tell you the pattern that you're following is not working for you. But until that imperative gets to here, until you realize in your own heart that this is something you desire to change for you, all the guidance in the world isn't going to have a whole lot of impact. You know, it's just going to be an issue of, yes, I should be changing it. You know, even if you come to the idea that it's a change that you should make. Like, I mean, for instance, where it comes to the way your finances is are working. And that's where the brain is. Until you get that imperative that says, I have to change. Your brain is not likely to kick in very well to make it happen. Okay, which is a wonderful thought, but unfortunately, it also creates a problem. So I am just going to, I'm just going to go with the idea that you've reached the thought process, that it's reached your heart, and you desire your life to change. Now, to be clear, the only person in existence that can actually change your life for you, the only entity in existence, including who you call God, okay, the only one that can change it is you. Because if you believe in God, especially if you believe in God from the Christian pantheon, okay, even if you if you believe in God in that fashion, okay, you have a very simple little problem. Okay, and that is God by... Now, I was raised Christian, so do I believe in God? Absolutely. You can call him whatever name you choose. Okay, or her or it. But, according to what I was raised to understand, God, to, and according to the conversation I had with God myself, God turned around and told everyone, I, yes, I created you in my image, inside and out, but I hereby give you irrevocable, even by me, free will and free choice. Okay. Then he turned around and created all the good and all the evil so that you, and that, by the way, means he included, say, he, he created Satan herself. But, they, but he did that so you had a true choice between good and evil. Okay. He laid three laws out for you. Only three, not this ten that they tell you about. But from the, original, the original tablets had three laws. Okay. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. Now, when he gave you that joy and that freedom, he gave it to you with the understanding you were the one that was going to do the work. Even he will not step in and do the work. He will inspire you. Okay, he will he will push you to your limits with encouragement. But you have to listen. The best tools, the best guidelines in the world are absolutely useless if you don't pick them up and put them to use. Okay, take a look at the best carpenter you know. Give him the best tools on the planet. If he doesn't pick them up, he is not going to use them. And they won't do him any good. So with that in mind, okay, we take that heartfelt imperative and we go, okay. Now, I know from my standpoint, I'm pretty black and white about it. I desire my life to change. Okay, and that's, this is where, I, where it comes to you. Now, like I said, everyone on this world has to work. To, well, correction. In order to change your life, you've got to work with the people around you. No man, no woman. No entity is isolated unto themselves. We are all interconnected. Okay. And society, on the whole, is going through a real negative spin right now. And it's up to us 
all of us to turn around and make this and change the way the world is going in order to get things back on track. You cannot stop energy from moving. You've got to understand this as a get-go. Okay. And the neat part about it is this. If you understand that on the on the basic front, okay, things will change very nicely for you. Not quickly. Okay. If you take a look at, for instance, the Grand Canyon, it was cut by a river of water. Okay, but it does not, it did not happen overnight. Now, fortunately, it's not going to take you as long to get back in track as it took me. Because, frankly, I, I essentially, I had a lot of really bad guidance. And this is why I say, do not take my word for this. Okay, if you haven't figured it out, figured out a path of your own, absolutely give the one I'm laying out a, a shot. You know, turn around and work with it. But you start with this. Four words. Get these posted in your in your office, wherever you work on your money. If you haven't done it already, do it now. Those four words are, I am worth it. That Those are the four strongest words in combination that I've come across in any, in any language. Okay. And what, the, what those four words do is they will help you with your motivation. They will help you with your, with your focus, with your determination, and quite frankly, with your goal setting. Okay. So while I'm doing this, and I am working, but it takes way too much time, way too much time and concentration at this point to write with my left hand. And this is one of the goals that I've got for me. Okay. Understanding whatever goals you have, Okay, a list is the best way I've run in and that I've come across, okay, to make certain that we stay on track with whatever, to stay on track with whatever goals we have. Okay, very important that we get this sorted out. Now, with that in mind, okay, <laughs> The goals that you that you have, I always keep a sheet of paper handy to work with. Okay, we put the date at the top of it, which is the 20th. So we are dealing with April 20th of 2022. Okay. And if I could actually see, that'd be great. Of course, I take my glasses off because I don't like the things. I've had them since I was in grade 8. But you start with a list. You keep those tasks to 15 minutes to half an hour in length. By doing so, when you get one done, you check it off, and then you add another. The bigger tasks that you've got, okay, and that's something, as a matter of fact, I should really deal with. We'll start with that. I think I'm going to, no, never mind, think. That's just a silly idea. Starting tomorrow, this little book here. Believe in yourself and follow your dreams. Okay, I'm going to go through this book. Okay, through through some of that stuff. And I'm going to add more to it. But that book contains the backbone of the way to make changes in your life. And it's time to really get down to work. As a matter of fact, it's way past time to get down to work. Now, I've got a list of goals for what I'm doing on the live streams. Which, by the way, the live streams are something else that was a bit of a brainchild. And I finally got to doing the Brian live streams. I do them Saturday mornings on YouTube. Okay. From Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And on Sunday morning, Sunday night from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. I do that to cover both sides of the world. Okay. Now, you start with getting that straight, and those four words are the, mo are the most important. Then, if you haven't done it already, this sign. I have legally acquired a minimum of $3,500 by April 30th, 2020, 2359. Then, try that again. By April 30th, 2022, at one minute to midnight. Of course, that's what I get for reading this through the back and not staying focused. That sign, absolutely imperative 
for for making sure you stay on top of where your finances are of what you're making headway with. Now, do not get me wrong. I am not materialistic by any functional stretch. But remember how I mentioned I left a whole pile. And these are all figures that I'm going through to get straightened out. So I can get painting them properly and get them out of the way. Now I have well over 400 of these. So yeah, I've got my work cut out for me. And I really don't have to buy any for quite some time at this point. But I have a bad habit. It's, a, it's what's called a hobby. Okay. So you take a look at those two signs. Keep them somewhere visible. Now, because I run a home-based business, okay, which is, you'll see back behind me here, and I'm not going to bother worrying about that. I always have trouble turning it around in my head. I have trouble keeping things running smoothly, okay, in a forward direction. But if you look over my, you know, if you look over my shoulder here, over my left shoulder, okay, you'll see a sheet of paper on the wall. That is my business license. Okay. And the neat part about it is when you get the, once you get the energy running right, you get those two signs sorted out. Get them written if you haven't already. Now, if you know how to track your finances, whether it's on paper or on, on a computer, either way, if you know how to do it, and I'm talking about tracking what you spend, I'm not talking about tracking, about tracking, or about making a budget. Because frankly, in my opinion, if you if you're making a budget, okay, you've got a definitive amount of money that comes in regularly, okay. And if you've got a fair amount of money that comes in regularly, that's great. Like for instance, if you've got a government check coming in, it'll be coming in at a set amount. Now, when you've got that kind of check, a government check, or in some cases, you've got a contract coming in. You can take that individual contract and you can budget that. You can say, okay, I've got X dollars coming in. Okay, on at this time. And I'm going to separate, you know, into these fa into these pa factions. Okay, now the neat part about it from my end is this. Okay, if you take a look at that. When the check comes in, and this is where we start. Okay, probably should have started this right at the beginning, because most of you haven't gotten this far. Okay, when you get the, into here, the first check, the next check that comes in, you take 1% off the top. That goes in your pocket for man money. That's what you use for going out for coffee, for buying those little toys that you like to buy. Okay, for doing that kind of behavior. The stuff, man money is money you don't bother tracking. You put it in your man money box, and if you've got it there, you're ready to go. Okay. Now, if you don't know how to track this sort of thing, okay, then absolutely talk to somebody that does. Talk to somebody that has done it successfully. Whatever you desire to accomplish in life, talk to somebody that has done it successfully. And rest assured, if you believe in past lives at all, Okay, you've likely done all of this stuff, stuff before. So the easiest way to, to sort it out is forget you don't know. And I'll discuss that at a different time. Right about now, we're going to look at the issue of you take that 1% and put it in your pocket. Okay, that 1% in your pocket will make all the difference in the world. Because it changes the feel. Now remember, 1% in your pocket boils down to one dollar out of every hundred okay and one dollar out of every complete hundred if you make a hundred and one dollars okay you pay a dollar if you make ninety nine dollars you don't get anything okay i mean quite frankly well that's not entirely true okay if you get if you get ninety nine dollars you're only getting ninety cents okay but once you break that that hundred dollar mark, every hundred dollars, every complete hundred dollars, take one dollar and put it in your bank account, and one dollar in the bank account of everybody in your in your household. Okay, the ones that are relying on you. Okay, because what it does is it changes the money from I'm working to pay my bills to I'm working and pay my bills. 
without doing any real functional damage to the way into your bill paying capacity. Now, we all have bills, we all have things that we wish we had done differently. Okay, we all have things that we should have done, you know, you know the old saying. If I, you know, if I knew, if I knew then what I know now, which is a cute thing, but unfortunately it doesn't work very well. <laughs> but we all have those points, you know, those ideas. Once you get that money aside, okay, now is the time to work on the rest of it. And like I've mentioned before, we make sure the bills are up to date, you know, your living expenses, i.e. rent, utilities, rent or mortgage utilities and by the way of the utilities the absolute critical one because everything relies on it is your power okay so you you get those up to date get them paid for and then you carry on with your other bills now if you go back a few days okay i've already done a, a video on the on the way to break down money if you know how to track it, great. If you don't, talk to somebody that does. And absolutely, if you have questions, okay, about any topic, absolutely drop me a line. Now, you know, I've repeated myself multiple times on multiple videos about just how important this is. And you'll notice I've been working a lot with my left hand here. The neat part about it is my left hand, when I had the stroke, didn't work, but the old didn't work well. Still doesn't. But I've decided I am not leaving. I'm not stopping making it work. Yeah, you know, I was talking to somebody else that had a stroke, and they went, you know, I've, I had a stroke five years ago, and I've reached a point where this is what I'm stuck with. I had one three years ago, and yeah, it takes me a little while to get into get traction. But I made the very definitive decision that I am not just going to settle for the fact that this is what I'm stuck with. I'm just not going to settle that way. Because to my way of thinking, settling for that admits I've been defeated. That my body has collapsed beyond, beyond, beyond repair. I do not believe that. I can't speak for you. But, now, I started off, I said I had a whole pile of figures 